guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so just here for another little craft along using the flights of fancy kit and just making pieces generally for a junk journal so of course you don't have to have that kit so I've just got some bits and bobs that we're just finishing up using now so I've got this piece left from some of the background page and I just thought we'd make a little um oh what's the word well just I guess like a little pocket so I'm just going to trim that down there like that and then we're just going to decorate this up and I'm just going to use it as a little kind of pocket on the page like that so I'll just trim it down slightly more because it's quite big at the moment okay I think that's probably quite a nice size. I'm just going to grab my sheet music. Well, let me just see if I've got a small piece here, oh, which I thought I did have on the floor behind me with all my bits and pieces, but I don't have. Sorry about that. Right, so I should grab another piece of the sheet music. Actually, That is, that is quite nice. Now, I'm only playing around because I saw Rachel from Roxy Creations and she did a lovely video using some tracing paper where she just popped the tracing paper over some sheet music. So, like that. Which, doesn't that look lovely? I mean, it's so simple, but it just looks so, so nice. And I just thought that would be lovely to have on this piece. However, I'm now wondering whether I might prefer it on that washi or we could use this page. So that's just, that's quite nice as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that's it on the washi. Let me just cut this out. I'm going to use this one, I think. So I need to have a count up. So after we make this piece, we'll just have a count up and see how many pieces we've got left to make because hopefully we are actually nearly, whoa, oh, where's that gone? Hopefully I'm, we are nearly there with our pieces that we're making. Let's see how it would look with the blue. That's quite nice because that provides a bit of a contrast. I'm just wondering if we had, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to pop that on that washi and obviously that will not be used then as washi it will be used as background for this little frame. I'm going to glue that down like that oops going around the edges and then again I'm just going to just put a few little dobs of glue on this sort of thicker parts of the printed areas we'll just pop that on there okay yes I had originally thought the sheet music but um, I then thought oh actually might look quite nice on on that washi just going to cut that out now and again I'm just cutting that in slightly so as I hit the glue a bit more and then that just means it's glued to the edge a little bit better if that makes sense so uh, like that okay now oh, that's really nice isn't it I might just ink that up slightly I should have probably inked the 
the washi underneath but it didn't really occur to me before that but anyway that's fine like that and then just wondering whether whether we could just have it with anything else behind it I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, and I've been hanging on to my man because I kept thinking I'm going to try and incorporate him a bit how he just laid on those bunch of things when I showed the stuff that he was just laid on to. And I'm at risk of forgetting. <sighs> at risk of forgetting that. So, um, yeah, I hope that I'm going to remember because I did love how he looked just like plonked on that stuff so um, I hope I don't forget always a bit of a risk <laughs> right let's pop this one down like that just do plenty of glue on there oh gosh come on Okay, and then I'm just going to take my piece here, peel that double-sided tape off. I used to use double-sided tape all the time. I mean, when I was card making and especially on the mini albums, I just used it all the time. Um, I don't really use it so much now. But I have noticed other people do use it for certain things and it definitely does have its place. So, um, yeah. I think it's good, good to have some in, personally. You know, I'm not saying everyone would feel that way, but I do think it is useful sometimes. So we've got that piece. Now, do we want a bit of lace or anything coming out from behind the flower? Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's just cut that down. Actually, I'm going to just trim around there. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just going to edge this off with some lace trim. There we go. Now, in the kit, um, again, I wanted to do this series of videos to make sure I thought the kit had everything that you needed. Um, so having now used the kit a little bit, there will also be another doily. Um, just one of the small ones, just so you've got some extra to play around with. There's an extra doily piece. I mean, it's really good to have actually played with the kit thoroughly myself because Obviously, if you don't play with it yourself, you won't know what's what's missing or what would have been a nice addition. So I did really want to do that. There we go. And I'm just going to glue this one down. I mean, on the whole, I think you've got most things. I mean, as I say, the things from the physical kit, the things that you're going to be missing that you're going to need to add is all of your coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed plain paper for the basis of your journal. So you're going to need that and you're going to need something for the actual cover of your journal. But aside from that, I think there's going to be a good selection within, within the kit. Hopefully you've got more or less everything that you should want to need, um, except for any plain bits of paper so that's another piece there and actually I was going to try and pop a flip piece on there so let's just just have a look through my stash of coffee dyed paper here that's to the side right hold on before I do that 
obviously got the rest of these so I'm just going to cut this big one down wondered whether we could have had that folded around. I mean that's really nice isn't it? I mean that is a sort of journaling card on its own. Um, or we could have obviously, actually, let's use this. This is just the off cut from that little flippy pocket thing. Let's use that up I think. So I'm going to just chop that down on the edge like that and then just straighten that up a little bit Oops. okay and then we could even have it at the top but I think we will have it at the side again just glue that down onto the back of there I love all the fold out flippy kind of pieces I think they're really fun you know I like to have um, the interactive fun, I think, um, of folding bits out. Let me just check my iPad's okay. I think I said in one of my other recent videos, oh, it's just messing about all the time lately because of the updates that it forces you to do. And, um, oh, it's really frustrating because it just flicks off. It kind of comes up with the message Oh, you know, trying to do this update or this update's going to be installed tonight. Why it feels the need to actually tell you that all day. And then it just times you out of whatever you're in. Actually, that's not true. I don't know whether it's whatever you're in or whether it's only when you're actually filming a video. I'm not sure. But either way, very, very, very annoying. It's been, um, you know, hampering my my crafting videos a little bit and what with that and I've really been struggling to upload the last video that I still haven't managed to do that yet in fact you know you'll know that I had to use my husband's phone whilst it was doing that well I still haven't managed to do it even now so who knows what's going on there but right, that's my little flippy piece and again I mean you could just use a little paper clip or something to hold that closed but I love how that looks so I'm just going to pull all of my bits in now and the journal and we'll see what we've got left to do you know how many pieces we've got left to make oh, excuse me reaching down if you're following along with this we just slotted some pieces in roughly where we might like them to go just go through for instance here we've got these here we've got that so actually we're doing pretty well Right, so here we've got a space here. We could just pop our glassine bag in there. Do we want that? No, I probably would prefer, I think, to have that over there. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Have a look. Do we want it there or here? Maybe here because it will kind of lay flat. So maybe there. And what would we want opposite that? Let's have a look. So tough sometimes making these decisions, isn't it? Of where you want the bits and pieces. Might have that there actually, that's quite nice. And we've got our envelope pocket which that's quite nice there the only thing is then we've got all our all of our women together which I mean yeah that probably doesn't really matter but for some reason it's just I don't want to necessarily do that Could have it there have it the same I mean this is why I really like to not have things stuck in because you've then got like maximum flexibility to move things around and get them just as you want them 
That might be a bit too many blue pieces together. So no, not there. Perhaps we'll have her there or we could have her on the back actually. That might be quite nice on the back. Going back through again, we've got that piece. Now we could just have that envelope opposite there or we could have that matchbox book. Uh, so I'll have it like that, I think. So it's going back through. I'm going to swap these around because I would prefer the matchbox book to be on one of the flat pages rather than one of the ones at a curve. So this one then we could have here, I think. That just works better. Um, in the journal. We still need one piece for here and one piece for here. Um, nearly done guys. One piece for here and one piece for here. So how many was, oh no, because I forgot we got this piece actually. That might be quite nice on that inside cover because that piece, I really love that, how that's turned out. So let me think what we're going to put on the facing side. So we've got this little envelope which we could make a little pocket from that. So let's do that maybe for here. So yeah talking to myself really and then we need one for here don't we so I'm going to make the envelope piece so what I might do is keep this piece here because hopefully we're going to get something that would be a bit of a nice pair up with that so I'm going to take the envelope piece so again you get an envelope like this in your kit and just stick that down Like that. Okay. Let's see what we want to do on here to get it to pair up nicely with the other piece. We've got some of this, which obviously this is a slightly different colour because obviously the coffee diner has kind of changed the effect of this, but it was actually very um, yellowy cream and this was very palely pink um not that you can really see that now but that's how it originally was I'm just wondering what we're going to be doing with this piece so I might try and use this little off cut here so I'll just cut that down probably just slightly in here like that well, it was so nice to hear that other people have that timeout problem as well. You know, when you're typing the comments or replying to comments or typing comments, um, that you're typing and then you click the send or the return or, you know, whatever you call that motion or button. And it just sort of whirls away with that little timer thing and then comes back saying request timed out. It's so annoying, isn't it? I mean, I honestly thought that was maybe just me. So it was kind of nice to hear that I'm not alone, that lots of you have that problem as well. But it's really frustrating. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that is. But annoying. Annoying and nice to know that I'm not, not alone with that. Not the only person suffering that problem. Right, I'm going to stick this piece on before I can change my mind. Like that. Come on. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do on the inside covers. I'm giving that a bit of thought as, as we speak, as I'm crafting. I'm kind of thinking what, what to do on those inside covers. And on the outside cover, actually. I have got something planned for the outside cover. 
of whether I can find what I have planned is altogether another thing. And obviously, how you've made your cover is completely up to you. The cover of the journal and the journal itself is not included in the kit. So you may have made something very different looking. Um, and that's, of course, absolutely fine too. So do we want it like that? Just going to trim this little edge piece down. Obviously I did these die cuts with my scan and cuts, which I think I said I've only just recently purchased and I'm still very much learning with it. And occasionally I've had problems with the mat and pieces moving around a little bit. So that's what's happened there. It doesn't really bother me because you can just easily trim them off and obviously it's still a lot quicker than cutting from scratch. Um, but I just wanted to point that out really. Now we could have a journaling spot there, which is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, and again, that was just a little off cut. So that was that piece that we cut off from the this piece. I mean, I've used now every single piece of that piece of paper, which feels great. Great that we've actually used an entire piece with absolutely no wastage whatsoever. But there we go. It doesn't matter that that's not straight because obviously we're going to cover that up with the frame. There we go. Pop that one on. Like that. Okay. So we'll just stick that one on there. And then I'm just going to stick on a flower like that. Okay, right. Okay, that's another piece done. Let's just pop the lace on there maybe. Oh, I might not yet because we might add more things to that once we glue that down on the page. So I think we only had one piece left to do. Um, just deciding what to do for that piece. Uh, let's have a bit of a think. Maybe we'll do something like a book page belly band. So if I just put in the book pages them down and then all I'm going to do is fold that over like that and glue that down together so that makes that nice and stiffened up I suppose would be the expression you know just so it's a bit thicker is basically what we're doing okay Spread that out. Okay. And then I'm just going to bring in, because we said about that for that back page, just going to bring in this piece here so that I can again try and have some sort of continuity going between the two pieces. Because it's nice if they have something to um, marry them together, really. Might use little piece of doily maybe like that and then now where's the rest of that lace trim gone mm, ah, here Let's ink this book page up so it looks a little bit more in keeping. Like that. Okay, so 
we're going to have the doily piece down like that so let's again let's just make a commitment to this and glue that on Oops, and then I can't be chopping and changing my mind anymore it's actually raining now so it's definitely deteriorating the weather so it's about lunchtime so I'm just thinking my daughter will be having wet play today. I don't know really what they do in wet play anymore. But um, she's always very keen to tell me what she's had for lunch. <laughs> she doesn't um, tell me anything they've been doing actually in school or, you know, in lessons. She tells me what she's made, i.e. what she's drawn or what she's stuck together. Um... with the paper and the sellotape and what have you. I mean, obviously she brings that home a lot. And she tells me what she's had for lunch. And that's about it. I don't really get to hear anything else. You'd think that she was, um, <laughs> you'd think that she was not doing anything during the day. I'm sure they must be doing something. I mean, she's just gone into year one. So, I mean, presumably they still are doing a lot of play. Um, but I'm guessing that they are doing some some level of work in as well. Just wondering whether we want these. Yeah, she um she loves the the school dinners. So she comes home. She says, "Oh, mummy, we had um, chicken and rice today." Or we had roast dinner today. And this week she's, she said chicken and rice. She said roast dinner. Um, what was the, oh, pasta. And um, I said, oh, you've had all of your favourites. I said, but then to be fair, you like all of them. She said, yeah. I don't like jacket potato though. So she doesn't like the jacket potato. But she likes everything else pretty much. She loves the macaroni cheese. I mean, it sounds like they do have nice dinners, I must say. And we're very lucky here because um, they have changed the rules. And so now it's amazing. They actually get free school dinners. I think it's like key stage one, so I mean obviously she's she's five, so she is still in key stage one. So she's gonna have a bit of a shocker when she goes into key stage two and suddenly then she's having packed lunch and her sandwiches are not going to be half so exciting as her hot dinners. But yeah, that's an incredible um bonus really, I suppose would be the word. I hate making the school dinner, uh, school lunches, so um, that's really fantastic. Really fantastic. And obviously it also cuts down on how much they have to carry to school, which, as probably most of you have found, they're not really carrying it to school at all, you are. And they come out from school and just dump their school bag on you. So um, it's quite nice when their school bag's quite minimal. And obviously it's pretty handy as well because you know that they've had a really good dinner. So, um, you know, if ever you're busy after school, going to clubs or anything like that, she can just make do with something like beans on toast or something quite small. I mean, beans on toast is still quite a good meal, I think. Um, you know, it's quite healthy, isn't it, really? And it's just quick and easy. And I just love the smell of um, beans on toast. It smells lovely, doesn't it? My son has that for breakfast sometimes. And he's really good. He, he loves cooking and loves being in the kitchen. So he gets his own breakfast and I'm doing my exercise normally at that time in the morning. And I do my exercise in, like our garage, but I've converted it, um, well, yeah 
converted a tiny area in there anyway into my little workout kind of place and um, the door is obviously open into the kitchen when I'm in there doing my workout and I often have to just shout out you know oh your breakfast smells lovely either when he's having beans on toast that smells delicious or when he's having porridge I mean porridge smells lovely doesn't it so yeah I love the smell of porridge and I love the smell of beans on toast there we go because he starts um, school earlier than my daughter so he's obviously downstairs having his breakfast while she's still in bed so um, I try and do my workout before she gets up so yeah Do we like it like that or would I like a little bit of fabric ruffle actually? Oh yeah, yep I think I would prefer it like that. So I'm just going to stick a piece of fabric ruffle down on there. Oh I've got threads everywhere, come on. Well, I still haven't um, got round to doing any more sorting and tidying of my craft things. I'm working up to it. Working up to it, I am. I just, I love some people's craft rooms. They're just awesome, aren't they? I mean, I know that Sue paper inspirations wow she's got an amazing craft space absolutely amazing I, um, yeah get craft room envy when I look at people's lovely spaces I mean not that I'm complaining I love my my craft space and it's my happy happy place to definitely not complaining but I love that people are sharing their, um, or you know, have shared over time their craft spaces because it's lovely and to see and obviously get ideas from people of what might work storage-wise. So okay, right. Let me check. I'm filming and in frame. Just suddenly had this horrible feeling again that it had gone off. Just going to pop that word down like that. Okay, we'll just stick that down. Okay, so loving all those bits. Now, the next thing probably is to do the insides of the front and back covers. So, pull the journal back in. As I say, I haven't really decided yet what to do with the inside of the front and back. I did keep this whole sheet of one of the background pages because I thought I might want to use that. So again, let me just pull in the pieces that I said I might have on the front and back. So that was the piece that I kind of thought I might have on the front. That's the piece I thought I might have on the back. So I just wanted to see how they would look colour-wise if I went for that. Now, obviously, my envelope, as you can see, is longer than my A4 page. So what I could do is fill that in with maybe some sheet music. I mean, I could have... In fact, I could use the sheet music. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't really like that on there. Yep, not keen on that. 
I mean, I could put this sideways on, but then I've used it all on there and won't have an awful lot left, which would be a bit of a shame. Um, I mean, I could use the word page, to be honest. Is that a bit strange? Oh, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely weird. So I don't think I'll do that. So I think what I might do, and I don't think I've ever done this before, I might just use some coffee dyed paper. As I say, I don't think I've ever done this before um, on an inside of a cover, but I just thought actually that might look okay. So I'm going to do that. And I will probably do that on the front and the back because I like it to be matching-ish. So I'm going to take my big brush and just Mod Podge over the entire cover. Inside, inside of the entire cover. So I finally bought some big brushes. Just need to look after them now, make sure I rinse them out, which I'm not very good at doing. I think because what happens, I maybe am doing videos and things like that, and then I'm still doing the video, the brush dries out, I've moved on to doing something different, and then lo and behold, I just forget then to actually then take the brush at the end of my session and go and wash it out. So, But I'm going to try and remember to do that and look after these because... Um, I had been meaning to buy some thicker brushes for a really long time because I'm always making do with those tiny kind of artist brushes. So I must now try and try and look after this. Right, let me put that to one side. Oh, I probably best put it balanced on my stuff, like my bottle of water and things. So that when I go downstairs, I actually do then remember to take it with me and wash it. Right, I'm just going to then spread this with the, with my card. Okay, so that's one side, that's the um, front, the inside of the front cover. And I obviously now need to do the inside of the back cover. As you can see, I mean, that's all stuck on there. It doesn't matter because obviously that's going to all be covered up. That's just the front cover. So I'll just press that down and then I will do the inside of the back cover. And I will do that exactly the same using some more coffee dyed paper. So again, just grab another sheet, turn it around, just decide which side I like best. Well, that's quite nice. Get my brush back that I just balanced there. Okay. Give it a quick paste over everywhere. Like that, and then a bit down here. I mean, I try and go quite, you know, right up to the edges because um, sometimes it peels up from the edges, the paper peels up from the edges until I've really gone over it a couple of times. But to be honest, no matter how much I try and do that, I've never quite got enough at the edges, I find. So sometimes you may have to go back around it close to the edges. There we go. Okay, so again, take my card, spread the glue. 
And we're just getting rid of air bubbles. We're making sure it's really nicely stuck down. Like that. Okay. Okay, so... Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that to one side just to dry for a little bit because obviously, you know, that's quite wet now, quite soggy. So I'm just going to put it to one side to dry for a little while. If that's drying, let me check the time. We're up at 41 minutes, so we haven't got overly long. Uh, let me just find another, another sheet of paper that's then going to be slightly more pleasant to look at and this mucky one well pleasant to look at and obviously not covered in mod podge now so what we'll do is we'll just now get started making a couple of journaling cards and tags and things like that so obviously i had managed to hang on to this coffee dyed um sheet music I've got some book page left. I have got this little piece left. So I've got a few things left. I've got some background paper. So obviously I have got this background paper. I've got this entire sheet. So we've got a, quite a few bits left that we can make all of our bits and pieces with. We've also got um, quite a bit or quite a few pieces left to cut out that are literally journaling cards, you know, on their own. So let's just get cracking with some of these bits and bobs so i'm just going to now take some of the whoops, book page so let's just do cut that there and just trim that down I mean, I could have obviously cut that, you know, to the side, but I mean, obviously I wouldn't have actually been able to make anything with those little slippers. So I just thought we'll just do it in the middle. So I'll just move the things to one side a bit. Now, again, this is obviously up to you what you want to back this on. I quite like backing it onto, you know, card or sometimes those... Um, called like fly sheets these from the inside of books just depends how thick you want them really so play around find what suits you best um, and then just you know use what you find you like best so this obviously being um, what do you call it <laughs> book page is quite flimsy anyway so I don't necessarily want to put it on one of those fly sheets because they are again quite flimsy so I'm just having a bit of a look around my desk, seeing what I've got that I could use. I might just use this. Um, as you can see, it is green. Um, it's just some scrapbook paper that was just laying around, but that's fine. I'm just going to glue this down. Okay, we'll just glue that onto there. But nice because again, it get rid gets rid of another scrap from my desk, which obviously was only tiny anyway. So I was quite limited what I was going to be able to do with that piece anyway. And it's just ideal for backing to make a journaling card. So trim that down and I mean obviously you know no need to measure you just make any size of the pieces that you have any size of the scraps that you have so there we go and then we're just going to decorate that up so I've got this piece that we happen to tear off at some point as well so we could just pop that down like that we could just have a piece of lace or something Maybe go in there. Just have a look. Um, actually, 
actually. Oh, I might have to have it like that. So I'm just going to glue this down. Going to glue this on here. And I mean, again, you know, I know I've said it lots of times now, but you can use anything you like to make your journal. You don't have to have this kit. You can be using any bits and pieces that you like because they all work the same way. I mean, ultimately, you're just going to have different appearances because you've used different things but I mean ultimately you're just doing the same thing um, you know so use what you have or use what you feel you want to use so I'm just having a look where's my words just having a look to see if I've got anything I think flight um, related. Mm, don't think I have, weirdly enough. But I have got journey, so let's just do that. Oh gosh, come on. on like that so again I'll just use a bit of the fabric glue stick that down okay pop that on there just going to stick the word down So, so, so simple, but looks really cute, doesn't it? So, I'm just going to ink around the edges of there. Should have probably inked that word up before I stuck it on, but never mind. How cute is that? Looks really gorgeous, doesn't it? I'm looking at the time now. We're up to 49 minutes, so I probably have to call that quits for now. And we will come back and make a few more little bits to put into our journal and obviously get gluing in um, and finish finish off, hopefully. It may well be that that will take another couple of videos yet. Um, but yeah, hope that you'll join me again and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks then. Bye.